Hey Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for April 29th to May 6th. I am Charlene Lizette. We're going to dive in and see what's going on for you this week as we walk into May, as we start experiencing more and more of this Taurian energy, as we start um, getting closer and closer to that new moon in Taurus, which is a very auspicious day astrologically. When we look at the heavenly bodies and how they influence us, May is a very, very lucky month. May is a month where you can really build that financial foundation, that stability, that security for long-term wealth uh, in your life. That is going to mean, though, that you're going to have to grow. You're going to have to evolve. And more importantly, you're going to have to purge the limiting beliefs, the money blocks. All right. Really important. This month is about money because Taurus energy rules the second house in astrology. And so a lot of astrologers consider May to be a money month. All right. Let me pull out the last card here. Yeah. I, this is actually really beautiful. I'm seeing a wrapping up of a cycle here. Hi. Oh my God, hi. Okay, I'm seeing a wrapping up of a cycle here. I'm seeing you finally uh, move forward and walk away from something that has been mentally, um, mentally blocking you and also creating a lot of mental anguish um, or frustration or limitation or something in your life that has caused you a lot of mental entrapment. Hi. We have the world starting off your reading. To me, this is one of the best cards to get, especially in the beginning, because what it's saying is you're wrapping up a cycle. You are celebrating a specific cycle. You are finally coming to that level of like peak fulfillment so that you can move on to a new cycle, okay? A new cycle in your life. With the Knight of Swords and the Six of Cups and the Eight of uh, Swords, this is a new cycle where you are paying attention to your past behaviors, your past patterns, and how they have been limiting you, how they have been stopping you, how they have been blocking you from being able to evolve mentally. It's like, it's like the fog's been lifted a little bit, Pisces, and now you're seeing the bigger picture and you're like, whoa, this is how I am being an active participant in these limitations, in these blockages, and this is what I gotta do now to be able to break free. That's powerful. With the Knight of Pentacles here showing up, what you are doing is removing the mental anguish or the mental entrapment and planting new seeds. You're getting very clear and specific on what you want your foundation to look like. I want you to ask yourself these following questions, Pisces, okay? What does your life look like in three years? What does it look like in five years? If I was to ask you, what does financial stability, financial security look like for you? If I was to ask you questions like, do you find that you attract money, but you can't keep money in the bank? You find that you spend more than you have. You feel like you never have enough. Then those are all um, a result of some sort of money block or imbalance energetically with money. And you would greatly benefit from understanding how to become a money magnet so you can attract cash flow with ease. You want to uncover your prosperity potential. You want to understand your astrology prosperity keys. You want to release those limiting beliefs, those money blocks. You want to activate your abundance activation techniques. You want to connect with your wealth frequency. There's all these things now for you to do in order to get to this next step. And Source is saying, Sometime this week, you're going to have like an aha moment, that light lightning bolt, which is really Jupiter Uranus energy, uh, which happened on April 20th. And in that moment, you're going to go, whoa, this is the path forward. And you're just going to have like clear cut. And honestly, it's just clarity. Like it's just like smooth sailing ahead. And you're going to be like, this is the way forward, Char. This is the way forward. This is what I got to do. And you're absolutely right. Whatever your intuition is telling you to do, listen to it, okay? Listen to it. Because what's happening here is not only are you forgiving yourself for your past behaviors, okay? Not only are you forgiving yourself for the resentment, the fears, uh, the blockages that you've had in your life when it comes to love, when it comes to money, when it comes to your mindset. But above that, with this devotion investor card, you're understanding now that when you are devoted to yourself, when are you when you are devoted to what brings you joy, what brings you happiness, what brings you peace, what brings you ease, what brings you bliss in your life, you're able to create new solutions. You're wrapping up a cycle here and opening a new cycle. There's something really magical that's happening here when we look at this big time. For a lot of you, you're really revolutionizing revolutionizing your life. For a lot of you, you're recognizing and realizing you gotta walk away from the indecision, which is such a Piscean thing, right? Because all it's doing is creating more weight in your life. And baby, it's time for you to call in 
that money, honey, this is Taurus energy. This is wands. This is fire, passion, creativity, excitement. Okay. So you are definitely calling in something here, ma'am. You are whipping the cards everywhere. All right. So before we uh, dive deeper, you got Aphrodite as your amulet. This is all about working with the goddess of love, harmony, peace, money. She rules both um, Taurus and Venus, or Taurus and Libra energy, all right, which so fitting, Taurus season, right? This is a big month for you, okay? Don't don't sleep at the wheel. I don't want to say that. That's wrong. Like, don't don't sleep on this month, okay? Even if you're tired, rest when you can, but work when you can. If that means shoving in a half hour here, 45 minutes there, it's, it's hustle time. It's go time, okay? Let's dive into your love reading here and see what's going on for those of you. Um, uh, well, for the lot of you anyways. Um, if you want to join my Money Magnet Workshop and learn how to attract cash flow with ease, that's in the description box below. You're going to be learning everything that I've been talking about. For those of you that have been wanting to start your own social media presence, you don't know how to start your business and you need to know the how of making money, join me for the soul revolution. Okay. Because I am teaching you how to do what I did so that you can attract cash flow with ease, doing what you love, serving people, helping people and being of service. All that stuff's in the description box. Okay. I'll, so are all my other courses and the other ways to work with me. We have forgiving and learning and strength. And you got forgiveness here. Let go of the tower, let go of control and let your friends help you. Three of pentacles. Look, I'm going to tell you something. A lot of you here are finally um, forgiving this past person that has created a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a lot of mental anguish. Um, this person may have been very toxic. This person may have been very, uh, for some of you, abusive mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, you know, all the bits. Um, and what's happened here is they, their behavior has left a, a a prism effect in your life where no matter where you turn, you see the pain and suffering they caused you. They may have limited you, stopped you from stepping into your confidence, um, stopped you from stepping in your purpose, uh, stopped you from finding new love, but it's their false illusion or perception of you that you've adopted as your own. And what you're learning this week specifically is that in order for start this new to start this new chapter, because I do see some of you potentially meeting somebody here through friends in your neighborhood, out and about at the bank, you know, doing random things. Um, through this journey, you may find that you end up attracting somebody new in your life. And this new individual, um, brings up a little bit of your insecurities, like the stories, the false narratives, the projections that your ex used to put onto you. You got to learn to purge that Pisces. Okay. You got to learn to purge that because you're walking into a whole new cycle, a new cycle of love, a new cycle of joy, a new cycle of happiness. You're finding new solutions in your life, which are going to bring you a lot of peace, joy, and happiness. I'm going to pop the Jupiter Uranus conjunction video here so you can go watch it. Make sure you uh, turn the bell notifications on so you can find out when I post that a new moon Taurus video because that is a juicy one. And if you want to work with me in any way, all of it's in the description box below. Did it a follow me on Instagram and my mailing list. All my content is dripping with juicy, juicy knowledge to help you get to where you want to be because you deserve to fulfill your cosmic destiny and attract cash flow with ease. All right. We will see you later. Alligator. Peace out. Bye.